Right now I'd like to go through just a little general maintenance. Um, if your water is a little on the low flow side or if um, you're getting some fluctuation, you want to pull the thermal cartridge and clean it. And um, several of these steps are the same if you were putting in a reversing cartridge. So we would start off with being we have service stops, shutting off the service stops so no water to the valve. And this cap simply snaps out. Regular blade screwdriver. Remove the handle. And there's your cartridge and the nut that holds it in place. Now this is a, a stainless steel nut. I suggest always using a socket on it. If you use a pair of channel locks, um, you can actually distort or bend the o-ring or bend the nut out of shape and see just how thin it is. And then the wrench, it's just a 34 millimeter socket wrench. And at that point, the cartridge itself will pull straight out, just a little wiggle, pull. And that's where you would clean the screens if you had some fluctuation or, or low flow. And you just take it to a faucet in the house and clean the screens with a brush, clean it up, make sure it's free of all debris. Or if you're putting in a reversing cartridge, now is when you put in a reversing cartridge. And um, the cartridge just snaps in. You can see on the inside of the cavity here, there's a little cutout and a little dimple on the cartridge. Just line them up. Make sure you push in straight. It'll fall into place. Slug it up. At this point, you could turn your hot and cold on, and being it is a thermostatic unit, you would have to go ahead and, and calibrate the unit. Once you get 100 degrees of water flowing, just put your handle on, line up the little dimple with the 100 degree marker on the front of the valve. Make sure it works. Good rotation. Snap in your cap and you're good to go.